the uh, next couple of videos are probably going to be loud as shit because this is going on right outside the window. The gas company has decided they need to replace all the gas lines on my street and well you get the idea. So I apologize for the slamming and crunching noises that you are about to hear. Alrighty, we have got a slow boat from China episode update thingamabob here. And yes, I already op opened this because, frankly, I didn't understand what was coming. This one here is from icstation.com. And uh, they just sent this out on July the 13th, and today is July the 25th. Dudes, two weeks from China? I see station. Good on you, man. That is like unbelievable shipping. So there's three things in here. Let's take a look. All right, the first one is a kit. And this is the sound and light alarm. This is basically a temperature actuated alarm. You adjust the potentiometer when the temperature of the thermistor reaches a set level, it will go off. We'll be building this one. This is, well, let's zoom in here. This is a combination Bluetooth music receiver slash stereo amplifier in horrible SMD form. So you can see that's a 9962 from IC Station. Oh, that soldering is not going to be fun, but we'll do it. And our final one is this one which I believe here let me uh, zoom out a little bit more there we go this is a um, panel voltage meter with that <clears throat> damn it panel voltage meter oh, come on out of the package Again, I'll say panel voltage meter. Ah, there we are. Whew. Okay, this is a panel voltage meter. Let's zoom in. I think I said panel voltage meter like six times. Panel voltage meter that has a high voltage and a low voltage alarm. And you can click them and set your stuff, I guess. Over here we have some contacts plus RS minus over here we have let's see oh brother these man when you get close to 50 years old your eyes just take a real shit in the bed in plus ground V C G N J I don't know we'll figure it out all right, that's it from this package. On to the next one. All righty, next up is this little guy here. And let's zoom in and take a look. This is the AD9850. I believe, yeah. This is a direct digital synthesis chip chip that would be that guy right there and it has a 25 megahertz oscillator on board and if we flip it over here you can see the connections we have vcc w clock um, this fu update 
data reset, ground, Q out one, Q out two, Z out one, and Z out two. And what we've got is basically the um, triangle sine wave output on the this one, these two, and the square wave output on the other. This works in both serial and in parallel mode. You see if you jump over here to this side, you see VCC D0 through D7 and ground. So you can export an 8-bit word to it and it will work that way as well. This was about $15 off of eBay. Alright, next up. Alrighty, here is the last package for today. This is one I've been waiting for for, well, <laughs> a month since I ordered it from China, of course, right? Tell you one thing, these Chinese uh, resellers definitely package their stuff well. So as you can see, this is a dual channel arbitrary waveform generator. It is the FieldTech, I think this is the, there's the SKU on it, 6 megs, this is the um, FY2300. So we got some BNC to alligator clips, power supply, couple of USB cables, software, a quality certificate, which says absolutely nothing on it. And finally, the unit itself. Which is uh, double bagged for your protection and mine. So again, this is the FieldTech FY2300 arbitrary waveform generator uh, up to 6 megahertz nice aluminum enclosure I believe it also has a uh, frequency counter built in yeah very nice we'll definitely be seeing that in an upcoming video so that's the end of this slow boat from China I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give me a thumbs up Feel free to comment, share, and thank every one of you for subscribing and being a part of our little community. It means a lot to me. That's it. I'm out. Peace.